designers have made a great number of improvements to the smartphones that they've created over the past decade. They're now better designed, efficient, and can do more than ever before. Unfortunately, this hasn't stopped phone makers from releasing phones that are truly terrible and even dangerous. <laughs> Maybe it's bad engineering or perhaps the phone is rushed to the market too quickly. Sometimes it's a good idea right before customers before it's time, and others it's a bad idea at any time. In other cases, the phone's faults come from careless construction and cheap materials. No matter the reasons, there have been plenty of devices that leave a dark mark on the mobile phone industry. Luckily for you, you clicked on this video because today you're going to learn about 7 smartphones that you should never buy. First on the list, we have the Nokia 7280, one of the truly unique cell phones in their short history thus far. Nokia replaced the always boring numeric keypad on the 7280 with a rotary dial and shaped it like a lipstick tube. With its Art Deco inspired design, this phone would have been a winner had it actually paid off. Unsurprisingly, the Nokia 7280 failed miserably. At the end of the day, there was a reason why so many other phones had keypads. Its rotary dial was fine for dialing in numbers, but if you wanted to send a text or an email, good luck with that. Not to mention, navigating menus was an equally painful endeavor as well. Up next, we have the HTC Thunderbolt. After its delayed release, the Thunderbolt was prized as Horizon's first 4G smartphone with LTE network support. Unfortunately, the hype soon gave way to hordes of angry customers. The limited availability of LTE networks, one of its key selling points, was only one of its many setbacks. Furthermore, the company added a pointless built-in kickstand, along with time-consuming software updates, and an abysmal battery life as a cherry on top. It also had a troublesome habit of restarting itself at random, leaving buyers deeply disappointed. As a result, the chunky, bug-ridden Thunderbolt became known as one of the most hated smartphones ever released. Up next, we have the Amazon Fire Phone. Selling a poorly built smartphone with boring specs, a depleted battery life and sluggish performance all at a high price turned out to be a poorly thought out strategy for Amazon. Featuring Fire OS, a poor man's version of the prized Android platform, the Fire lacked Google apps along with countless other offerings. To make up for these shortcomings, Amazon decided to include a gimmicky 3D feature that allowed you to point out real world objects and identify them, but only if they're available to buy on Amazon. As a result, the company lost close to $200 million. Up next, we have the BlackBerry Storm. When touchscreen smartphones really started to take off, Rim, creator of the BlackBerry, realized that it needed to jump on the bandwagon. Cue the rushed, poorly designed, ill-thought-out nightmare of a phone, the BlackBerry Storm. Not only did this phone have a lagging clickable screen, terrible battery life, and outdated software, but it also lacked Wi-Fi support, which was unheard of at the time. As a result, most of the 1 million BlackBerry Storms were returned within a week after purchase, and it was dubbed the shitstorm by BlackBerry employees. Up next, we have the Echo. What's better than one screen? Two screens, obviously. This was rationale behind the Echo, which was released by Sprint in 2011. When closed, the phone had a 3.5-inch display, but you could also open it to reveal a second 3.5-inch display that snapped into place next to the first one. Most of the phone's features were completely useless when running in the full-screen mode using both screens. Some apps supported dual-screen mode, but only a small amount modified by the phone maker. As a result, buyers had a cool phone that really couldn't do much. Up next, we have the Motorola Backflip. In the late 2000s, Motorola announced two groundbreaking Android phones. One was the hugely successful Droid, and the other was the Backflip. The Backflip had a backward folding keyboard that was exposed on the rear of the phone when it was closed. It was just as uncomfortable as you would imagine. Not only that, but the phone's software seemed like it was written in the Stone Age. Its confusing, poorly designed apps and widgets made making a phone call a frustrating affair, and made simple things like finding the home screen a nightmare. Last and not least, we have the Samsung Galaxy Note 7. Receiving rave reviews for its elegant design, things started out well for the Note 7. Then to the surprise of buyers, devices began to spontaneously explode or burst into flames. It might have been a great phone when it wasn't on fire, but a faulty battery capable of causing explosions is something you simply cannot ignore. The issue eventually prompted Samsung to recall millions of phones, and it would end up losing $17 billion as a result. Well guys, those are the phones that you should never buy. Let me know what you guys think of the list. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like to receive the channel, subscribe. Also, don't forget to put post notifications on so you don't miss an upload. Until next time.